Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Another beautiful, beautiful morning. Another beautiful morning, indeed it is. Let me show you something real quick before I get too far down the road. Take the window down the mountain. Why not you look at that beautiful sky? With the moon shaking and baking behind the clouds. All them clouds out there. Have mercy, let me back the camera off. Alright. Just wanted to captivate that one moment. Put you back up here on the mount. Without messing, without hitting a button and cutting anything off. There you go. We got see it. Got you. You feel Alright. Back rolling again. Like I said, it's another wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, beautiful morning. Doing what we always do. For the middle class, that is. It's called going to work. Every morning. Every morning. Load up, go to work. Oh my goodness, we're heading down Enoch Road this morning, early this morning, before the hustle and bustle begins. Some of you might ask, why do you start so early in the morning, Mr. Jimmy? Well, the thing about it is, I like to be ahead of the game, you know what I'm saying? I like to be ahead of the traffic, I like to be ahead of all the hustle and bustle and all the chaos going on because I gotta I gotta be on the highways and byways all day long and I get enough of that traffic so this is kind of peaceful for me going to work in the morning and not having to fight no traffic because no matter how bad the world or the country or whatever economy gets for some reason Everybody's able to get out and ride the roads. Burn gas. It's unbelievable to be. Unbelievable to be. Now, I know it's just because there's so many people that it looks like they're out there on the road all day long. But Man, that's a lot of gallons of gas burning all during the day. I mean, it don't let up. I mean, it's traffic all day long. And that's just in this one small area that I live in and work in. It's like that everywhere across the country. Traffic, traffic, traffic. And I imagine it's like that in other countries too. Traffic, traffic, traffic. But it seems like there's so many people just riding the roads. But I guess it's just different people all throughout the day, it's just different people that are either going to work or coming from work or either they working with their vehicle and up and down the highway because they, that's that's their company vehicle, I guess. So, but I tell you what, it it's amazing how much gas gets burned in a day by all the traffic. Now see me the only time I'm in my personal vehicle here, and you see it, I'm going to work. I'm headed to work. I go straight to work. And then when I get off work, I'll pretty much go straight home unless I have to stop at the, the market or anything or whatever to pick up some groceries or, or anything. It's usually straight home. This old boy here don't get out and ride around and beat, beat, beat the roads up in my personal vehicle. I just don't do it. If I, when I get off work on Fridays, most of the time when I get off work on Fridays, now I go home, I park my vehicle, and uh, it doesn't move till Monday morning when I head to work. I'll wait on a few scragglers coming along here. And then there's nothing coming. Um, yeah, my vehicle was sitting at home. So I spend 
uh, the money to bought this truck, this pickup truck, and the gas that goes in this truck is simply used just getting back and forth to work. So I really don't use a vehicle for luxury because I really don't go anywhere. You know, if I wanted to, I could, but I, I really don't. I don't have the interest in dealing with you know traffic on the road in my personal vehicle because if I'm not in my company vehicle or not my company if I'm not in the company vehicle see if I'm in this personal vehicle and uh, somebody crosses me wrong on the in my personal vehicle uh, you know there might be consequences to pay for it um, but I really don't get out and about too much in my personal vehicle just because I deal with it all day long in the work vehicle and that keeps me under control because nobody wants to lose their job by acting on some road rage or something like that right there, you know. Well, look, like I say, there's lots of people just riding up and down the roads because I'll see the same people over and over. You know, if I'm running, if I'm running a certain route back and forth, I'll see the same people four or five times that day, just riding, just, just going up to the store, riding around the back road, yeah, I just, just pass them, they just riding around, now they might got business they might be taking care of, they might be checking on, you know, real estate, or they might be checking on property, or they might be checking on the farm, I don't know, but it seems like people just ride around a lot, now you see early this morning, there's no traffic on this road, because this isn't the time when people ride around. Everybody seems to get up at the same time and rush out on the road and go to work. And I don't like to be a part of that. I like to get up early. I like to get to work. I like to avoid all the traffic, all the chaos. You know, you never know what simple things may happen along the way. So you've got time to deal with them still get to work on time if something happens hopefully if you can get it. hopefully it don't God forbid Jimmy forbid but anyways that was what I was thinking about this morning is all the cars running up and down the highways you know here it is 4 4 40 and 4 40 a.m. in the morning and you got a few cars out here and about now those could be people getting off work, working at a mill, or working somewhere other. They got off at three or four o'clock in the morning. I mean, why else would they? Or they could be working in another county and they going from here to another county to work, and they're getting an early start. I'm gonna turn right here on El Bethel, get off the big four lane 501, and get over here on El Bethel Road. <clears throat> Make this right right here. Get to the starboard side. All right, here we go on El Bethel Ride. Right? It's a nice, beautiful road right here. 45 miles speed zone on this road right here. Yeah, they usually have a one of them harassing uh, people with a badge, hide out in the bushes or whatever, try to catch somebody speeding on this big old open road. Oh my God, somebody on speed! Oh. Lord have mercy. Wake up, cops. Grow up. Anyway, <laughs> you have a beef with everything, you know. You always have something like irritation. But anyway, like I said, people are just burning gas left and right. And you think about it, that's how come when something major happens nationally, you know, a crisis happens, that's why gas runs out so quick. Because people are gobbling it up left and right, or burning it up left and right, the vehicles up and down the highways. When we had those crises or whatever, I was fine. Because I don't burn gas up and down the road riding around or nothing. I'm going back and forth to work. That's it. You see this route? I pull out of my yard, go straight to work, got my same route I go. I don't lallygag, you know, stomping on it, mashing on it, taking off from a light wide open like people do. Mm. That burns more gas than normal. 
but I'm gonna tell you, it's amazing. Amazing how many people riding up down the highway. All the gas is being burnt. Look at somebody walking on the side of the road right there. Got a little flashy light burning. A little bicycle. Got a little bicycle, a little trailer behind it. At least he's got a flashing light. That's a smart thing to do right there. I believe I'd rather be in the medium there than to be on the edge of that lane right there. But anyway, he's not burning no gas. Shout out to him. Probably ain't got no vehicle. Means he ain't paying no taxes on no vehicle. He ain't paying no taxes on no gas. He ain't paying no insurance on no vehicle. Hey, think about that. Next time you see somebody on a bicycle, it looks like that's all they got. Just think about that. They ain't got to pay no insurance. They ain't got to pay no uh, gas for gas or pay gas taxes. They ain't got to pay for no vehicle, no vehicle maintenance, no wear and tear of the tires, engine, oil, gas, transmission fluid, washer fluid, antifree. They ain't got to pay for nothing. That bicycle. As long as they keep the body healthy, they keep some food in their belly, and some good shoes to walk in. Hey, that right there, that's, 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 that's all right. Well, probably when I retire, that's probably going to be how I'll be living when I retire. Riding a bicycle. Walking. Because I don't know when I retire... I don't know if I want society to suck every penny out of me till I'm homeless. Cause that's what it'll do. But anyways, folks, try not to be on the highways and byways burning up gas, just riding and riding. I mean, you, you get out on a Sunday afternoon and see everything, and then you've seen everything. Ain't no need here each and every day riding around, going to the market, going to going to the Dollar General every day and then going to, to the fast food. Just another thing, you know, you go through town and you got all these people pulling into the fast food joints, the McDonald's and the Arby's and the Burger King and the Hardee's and I don't think I don't said that. Zaxby's. It's all them places, all them fast food joints, the cars just backed up through the drive through out into the rear, in the road, causing safety problems there too. Because people are too lazy to get part of the vehicle and walk inside. So they want to sit there in line and burn gas waiting to get up to the window and order them some food. So just burning the gas like it's nothing. Just burning it away. These are the people that fill up fill their tanks up probably two or three times a week because they burn it so much of it. couple of county manics sitting there on the side of the road in that parking lot of that store trying to catch somebody trying to catch somebody yeah, even them guys you know they'll sit there with the vehicles crane just sitting there burning because they they want that air conditioning rolling so they gonna sit there cranked all day. Cause they ain't paying for no gas. That's, they, got that, they got that county card, gas card. But it's peaceful in the morning. You don't see all them people riding up and down the roads. Like I said, in the morning time, it's not the riding around looking because you don't really can't see nothing. You see people out and about this early in the morning, they either going to work, coming home from work, they ain't joy riding. Unless it's on the weekend. That's when the alcoholics are out partying so late trying to make it home. But besides that, yeah, it's peaceful in the morning. I like I like the morning time. Just gotta watch out for wildlife and stuff like that running out on the road. But you know, safety first everybody. Um always be aware of your surroundings. That's why I drive slow. I slow down on this road. It's a bad area of that. 
But anyway, folks, I know y'all probably deal with the same thing. All the cars and traffic on the road and you try to go somewhere or another and it's backed up traffic. Just think about that. It's people going all day long. And I know everybody's probably busy. Everybody's got their their own agendas and their own stuff of what's going on and what they're having to do and they having to go and pick up something or drop off something or this and that and the other. I understand all of that. I understand people. There's different people throughout the day. People going to work, coming from work all during the day. I understand all of that. I'm just saying. The amount of vehicles all day, that's like a that's like a non-stop line of traffic. So burning away the gas, burning away the gas. Because nobody carpools anymore. The most of the vehicles you see is our one person in each and every one of them. I try not to be a part of it, but when the evening time, when I'm going home in the evening time, I have to go and I'm in traffic going home. So I guess I am one of them, of the many people riding the roads. But I try to make it short and sweet and go straight to the house. I don't have to stop at the store. It is what it is, my friends. It is what it is. So... I guess we could all do our part and try not to burn up all the resources of the earth. Uh, I don't see how we could possibly do that. The planet is pretty big. And one little vehicle, it even you, smaller than a speck on this earth. Believe me. Smaller than a speck. Anyway, folks, some fuel pumps right there. Ain't nobody at them. That's kind of early in the morning. But they'll start popping up. They turned off the fuel. The sign up there, it shows the, the gas prices and everything. They, they turned it off. They don't even have it on no more. Probably burnt the bulbs up with some high gas prices. <laughs> I just blow the fuse probably or something up. But anyway, we just turned on Case Bay Highway over here on my way to work. Folks, if this is the first time you stumbled across this video, by all means, the subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner, right over there on the bottom right-hand corner. Click on that subscribe button and jump aboard my train. And ring that bell, that notification bell, so you'll be notified when I post my next video. I'd appreciate having you aboard. Now, all my videos aren't the same. Uh, this right here video by all means this video here is my little morning video that i make on my way to work i just like to talk about whatever's on the top of my head off the top of my head or whatever you want how you phrase that it's usually jumbled up a little bit my thoughts and my mind and my speech because it's morning time early in the morning and i like to make these little videos it's just a little peaceful time from the house to work where it's peaceful there's not a whole lot of distractions straight ahead I can look straight ahead in the road and I can talk to the camera and no reason I don't video myself in the morning time like this right here because uh, it is dark and I would have to turn on a light for you to be able to see me and that would not be safe with a light in my eyes and trying to drive at night no sir even because I'm 57 years old and the older you get the, the more difficult it is to see at nighttime driving believe it or not it's true oh it's damn true <laughs> so anyway folks uh do appreciate y'all taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch my video uh it may not be uh inspiring it might not be uh funny it might not be uh what is it what are the words i'm trying to think of um uh how to videos it might not be a how to video or anything like that i'm not trying to teach nobody nothing i'm just giving everybody a little piece of my life on my way to work in the morning 
how I'm thinking, what's on my mind, stuff like that. Any of the people that follow me and want to hear this kind of stuff. If not, you know, you can always click that button and move on to the next video. But I hope you'll listen to me and sit back and just get a piece of my mind or what I'm talking about or what I'm thinking or how I'm doing. If you got two ideas or your suggestions, you'd like to put something you're thinking about right down in the comment section. Type it out. Put it down there. Put your thoughts, your ideas, your suggestions, anything down there. Just put it down there. Now, if it's anything bad, now YouTube will will take it off or won't, won't let it allow it. They have certain words that they that they scan for it that if they if it pops up you know they will take a message off just say like spams and stuff uh, youtube is good about that plus if it's uh very negatory if it's very bad or whatever and youtube don't take it off you can believe i'm gonna take it off this is a positive channel right here we don't we don't appreciate negative attitudes so please don't put that down there just keep it as family friendly. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it family friendly. Ain't no sense in no drama and stuff, you know. I try not to put it up, try not to speak of drama, but you know, sometimes it gives down on us sometimes and beats us up and kind of makes us say certain things. But anyway, folks, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, share it. Share it on your social media if you want to. But keep looking at through. Go to my channel. Click on my name down there. Right up under this video. Click on my name. Go to my channel. And scroll through some of my, my videos. And see what see if you see something you like or whatever. Uh, but just put it on your big screen TV if you want to. It's, some of the videos that I make. It's better to put it on the big screen TV. And you, you, will, you will get a beautiful picture. I mean you will get a beautiful video to watch. Um, cause I do a lot of video and out the work truck, you know, and, uh, it'll be, uh, beautiful scenery and stuff to watch. You can see a lot more if you watch on a big screen TV. Anyway, folks, we rolling up on the truck yard here this morning. Fixing to start another wonderful day and we're going to try to get it done. So, uh, just remember, if you got to be out and about on the highways and byways, do be safe and be courteous and be nice and do help somebody if you can as long as it's safe for you to do so because there's certain situations that can be dangerous and deadly so please be safe out there on who you deal with and what's going on around you always be aware of your surroundings but anyway folks we fixing to get this day started I fixed to get the truck the company truck checked out and ready to go and uh yes sir bob we fixing to get this day rocking and rolling so whatever you do folks try to stay positive if you can just try try it you might like it <laughs> anyway folks until next time this is mr jimmy Peace out, my friends. Peace out.